Nature-based solutions are solutions to social challenges that come from a change in the management or the protection or the restoration of ecosystems, whether that's forests or wetlands or coastal ecosystems like mangroves. So my name is Will Baldwin Cantello and I'm the Director of Nature-Based Solutions at WWF UK. As a global community, we, we face a triple challenge this century. We need to um, avert the climate crisis, we need to reverse the biodiversity crisis, but we also need to meet the needs of 10 to 11 billion people. And nature-based solutions are important because they are a model for how we could um, deliver social goods whilst delivering biodiversity benefit and climate resilience or, or climate mitigation. I'm Izzy. I did my undergrad at Cambridge in Natural Sciences, specialising in ecology and conservation. After that, I soon started working at the Nature Based Solutions Initiative in Oxford. And now I'm very excited to be soon starting a PhD doing my own empirical research on how to restore seagrass in Scotland. Nature-based solutions have really huge potential to support a green economic recovery. One study found that for every 1 million US dollars invested in coastal restoration, you can create about 40 jobs. Whereas if you invested the same in aviation, you'd only get about 19 jobs, or for oil and gas, just five jobs. The potential for green jobs in nature-based solutions is really, really significant. Being someone who is literate in sustainable development, literate in conservation, but can be also be literate in finance sector and business sector and to, to apply those skills. That's where I can see things really going. I would say don't worry too much about, oh, what do I need? I can't do this because I don't have a science degree, for example. Um, I think look at your skills and look at what you enjoy doing and then work out how that can fit into the broad agenda because you really do need people working across every sector. When we are designing a nature based solution in a given place, we're going to have to be really creative about the solutions we bring in. The more perspectives we bring together, the better chance we have of coming up with a solution that's actually new and novel and going to solve our problem. Working in an area where everyone is working every day to help fight the biodiversity and climate crisis, it definitely makes you so much more hopeful. Things have really changed in the last few years. Um, complete game changer in how high climate change and biodiversity are up the agenda and more and more young people coming into these fields. So yeah, that makes me very hopeful. I think um, the moment we lose hope is the moment we lose the battle. The next decade could be transformational. If we think that to 2050, we need to be net zero as a global community, I think, well, that's 30 years from now. What was the world like 30 years ago? And we didn't have things like the internet. We weren't using smartphones. The, not to say that technology is going to be our fix here, but it shows how dramatically the world can change.